Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Corpse Party Smooch Covered. Naomi Covered. Well, that too. Psycho Covered, you will take that. Oh, what, that's, that's, I, I got their names mixed up, but yeah. I would totally take Psycho Covered. She is still the best. Wait. Did this say something? Let's all wash our hands and remember our mommies and daddies. Remember them and cry because we can't go home anymore. It's a terrible time. <laughs> the end of ten, is. but not, but not great again. Man, imagine if that was like on a real teacher's wall. That'd be the worst shit. That would be amazing. <laughs> Maybe that's what they have in North Korea. Wow. <laughs> Got it, Evan That's a little. That's a little real, but I mean, that's still pretty good. Okay, so surprisingly nothing happens. I was kind of expecting something to happen just because they were like, EO, we should avoid this. Um... Down. Oh, yeah. I was considering, like, maybe let's go talk to Seiko's dead body again, but... No. Nah. I don't think it would matter. Yeah, probably not. Okay, it's pretty obvious where we're going now. Glowy orb. Yeah. The glowy orb. I find it funny that they see it as a glowy orb. Like, I understand that's the only way to make it something that small properly visible in-game, but, like, you'd think they'd just see it as what the object normally is, not, like, a glowing orb. Because I guarantee you that object isn't going to be a purple glowy object. That changes colors when I teleport. Yeah. Alright, so it's... Anyway, do you feel burnt? Huh? Oh, you, I, well, you could feel burnt now. Oh, well, I could have. Did you remember where I needed to leave her behind, though? Can she not move? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. You have to leave them behind in the uh, exact right <laughs> spot. The lights changed position again, Naomi. Would you mind waiting here for a sec? Sure, no problem. I just imagine that if you're on the other side and the light is like two meters away. <laughs> you're like, no, can you go over that? I was trying to wait here and I, I can't see your face. I'm not trusting you. Oh, uh, exactly. <laughs> Naomi, now, grab it. I think she ate it. <laughs> okay, got it. Well, you know, It looked sometimes... like it fell on her mouth. I, I actually thought I saw it land in her hands, but that would be pretty funny. She's like, okay, whoops, I swallowed it. <laughs> uh, acquired Custodian's Key. Uh, is that for the TV? Mm-hmm. That's for the, the Custodian Room, which is the one where we hear the TV sounds. Is not nice really guy got his head banged in, though? Uh, no, maybe? No, I'm... I mean, he got, he got right into a random place. Yeah. But, I mean, because that was a custodian. Whatever, I assumed he, that's where he was. Yeah. I don't know. Nicely done in there. In what fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we need... Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. It's like someone can't come up with a new puzzle. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I mean, it's repeated three times in the game, but I actually don't mind it. It's Right, I don't mind it. It's just weird when the game points it out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get the way they're stating it. It's supposed to be about loss, but it is kind of funny, yeah. It's like, we had to do the exact same thing. Wow, what a coincidence. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. Exactly. Hi there, bitch. I already know you're pissed about your sister, so let's just go in here. Yeah. So we get to see this new room. Man. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that the TV doesn't keep going, because I actually, I don't know why, I didn't used to find this uh, that annoying. Um, 
But I swear these days I find white noise from TVs like really annoys me. Uh, like, I don't know why. Hmm. Who I'm turned... not used to it. Yeah. Fair enough. Who turned out the lights? What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Ah, uh, something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? Dead bodies. I'll try. Uh, hmm. Found it! Yeah, you think you'd, that's normally what you'd think. Who? Thanks. You guys moved like no... <laughs> not a single square. I'm sure the light switch was not that hard to find. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. Man, it does stink in here. And it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Huh? That's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could swear I've seen this room before. I'm Let's confused see. what this is referencing. <laughs> I don't know. Inside the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Law Book and a few crumpled pieces of papers. Heavenly Host Elementary School. Con confinement to... Now taking applications. The sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seemingly endless list of names. The lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. Alright. Every day up through November 18th, 1975 is crossed off with a big X. Hmm. Good to know. There are old moldy tea leaves floating in the stagnant water. Tasty. <laughs> It's an old beat-up kettle. Wait, there's water. Oh, yeah. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Something sticky seems to have melted all over its surface. There are stains everywhere. Gross. God damn it, Custodian. We told you to stop doing <laughs> that. It, it, it weirds out the teachers and kids and everyone. <laughs> I know, seriously. And people wonder, like, it, and people keep leaving. It's any wonder why. But yeah, anyway, the guy I was referring to is, remember, mm -hmm. the cool kid got his head knocked in and then he woke up somewhere. Yeah. And then the custodian tried to kill him. Yeah. But then he didn't kill him. I remember that. I assume that was this place. Yeah, yeah. Because where is the custodian going to drag him? Well, I thought the guy was the, wait. Is Wasn't the that the custodian? Isn't the, ja is the janitor a custodian? Isn't that the same thing? Isn't I don't a custodian know. is a janitor. I, <laughs> I'll be honest, I have no idea. I thought the custodian was, like, someone who handled maintenance or something. Yeah, but that's Which... normally a janitor, isn't it? Yeah, normally I think... Normally the two are the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they weren't for this school, uh, but you might be right. I just assumed they were different things because you thought, you'd thought you think they wouldn't use different words, you know? Fair but... enough. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I just assumed it'd be this place. Yeah. It's an old Japanese-style fusuma, a sliding door, presumably opening to a closet. It's torn and stained in equal measure throughout its surface. Something seems off about this problem. <laughs> what did I even just... words? I don't know. Something seems off about this closet. I get the feeling that this is one door we shouldn't open. Yeah, uh, you're gonna open it. Save before. I gotta... All right. You don't want to let the old man get. Oh, it's uh, funny. I was like <laughs> really ready to open it. I was really like building myself up mentally, and then he's like, "Nah, I shouldn't do it." Man, Sadoshi really doesn't want to die. He's he's just too smart for it. He goes up to the door, and he's like, um, he knows he shouldn't open it, and just doesn't. He's actually a psychic Jedi. Yeah. There's a video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Ah, oh, rad. We should go make some home movies. It'll be great. 
It'll be called the Corpse Party Summer 2019. I don't know. Its batteries also seem to run out. Oh, never mind. However... So much for your plans. Yeah. You can't become a famous <laughs> video cassette YouTuber now. I know. That sucks. <laughs> I'd be the most retro-style YouTuber. I'd be like, hey man, how, how'd you get your cassette on the internet? And I'm like, fucking magic, yo. I'm sure there's magnets. a way, but it's... Yeah, magnets. <laughs> Its batteries also seem to run out, however, as the LCD display isn't turning on. What is something this recent- oh, what- What is something this recent doing to place this old? Maybe it belonged to someone who brought it- brought- was. Like, Who was brought here like us. I can't English, yo. Yeah, does that make sense? He just carries a fucking TV with him while being teleported. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV, and it's out of batteries, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. What TV has batteries? I No, the camcorder. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, ba t battery TVs would be... I would call them OP, but that actually sounds really annoying. It's like trying to turn on your your TV, and it's like, God damn it, I need Every to check the batteries again. Yeah. There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's Strange a But True fun. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh... It actually reminds me of, I think it was, I there was something, I think it was called, like, Ripley's True or Not. I don't know why it makes me think of that, but it was this show that, like, you know, basically told stories. And it was like, hey, is this story bullshit? And, you know, at the end so of it, it's, it was. It's, hmm? it's, fuck, I did move on, I forgot the name. <laughs> All right. It's a follow-up to a previous report. Read it? Sure. Sh yeah. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school. Building follow-up by Koei Kabiki. Mm. Were you this guy? Oh, no, I didn't think we Okay. Let's talk a bit more about Yoshizaku... Yo Yoshikazaku... It's kind of Yoshi. Yoshi Kazu Yanagihori, beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takamini Yanagihori. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. Okay. <laughs> but then, the illness struck. And little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. What kind of disease is this? <laughs> That's a good question. Did he get mad cow disease then? Like, whatever, it's okay. <laughs> gave way to instinct. It's like, yeah, it's instinct I don't know what to that kidnap means. girls and cut out their tongues. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, you guys. You guys are weird. I, yeah, I, I kind of get this feeling that this tabloid's a load of shit, but I mean, how many tabloids aren't? Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. So you know... the door you have is not... <laughs> Wait, is the door his now? Yeah, okay, you... the door is his. I guess so. You have the door, right? Yeah. His behavior during class degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he'd begin wailing mournfully. You know, I, I know this really was... Weird to see it, it do. Yeah, I know this was a while ago, like, but still, you'd think they'd be like, Hey man, um, 
you've got to take some days off. Just go, go and see a psychiatrist. We really can't have you wailing mournfully in front of the students. It's kind of making everyone uncomfortable, okay? <laughs> I mean, not to be a jerk, but come on. If he can't even make it through a class period, I, I, I don't know. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshi's, uh, whatever, reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshi Yanagihori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and dis dis desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinozaki, age 7. In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions this incident spurned, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with the striking un strikingly unusual red dress. That's not suspicious or anything. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young being forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. She's a villain. <laughs> I stick to it. Uh, and certainly if I were to find Miss Shinozaki and secure an interview, there'd be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and, hopefully, well-adjusted adult for over ten years at this point. <laughs> can you can you write that in your journal? Like what kind of what kind of um tabloid is this where it's like full grown and hopefully well adjusted adult? Like That's a deliberate of a at this point. Yeah, seriously. Like, I'm not reading news anymore. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? I know. What a useless like reporter dude, just writing out his memoirs like this. I don't even get it. What does this have to do with the supernatural anything? By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. Okay. I mean, I guess. I don't know. He's standing on the bed. <laughs> I know. So he has a dog, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he does. Shinozaki. I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Uh, okay. But look, the ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Are, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose, at least. <laughs> Hack! What the hell? Not on my shirt! <laughs> Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't stay, say things like that? <laughs> what are you two? Ah, uh, that's really gross. <laughs> I know, seriously, who, even in this situation, who does that? You should blow your nose, I'm gonna do it on your shirt. Maybe it makes uh, him immune to ghosts. <laughs> they don't want to touch that no more. Fair enough. Not good. She's not normally like this. Shinozaki. Well, yeah, I mean, I assume she's not normally doing that. Also, we have a lot of back and forth on this chapter, I've noticed. Yes. We've had a lot of switches between the main character and these two. And I think one time to that one guy. Yeah, yeah, I think... They kill right. us for, like, two minutes. Right. 
There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. Looks like the top half of an article. Uh, have we read it before? <clears throat> the light and dark sides of heavenly host elementary's principal Tanahaki whatever. Ground was broken. Source yes. of I think, yeah, we read this. Okay. Yes, yes, we got it. His unwavering love for the school it probably didn't kill everyone. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. Monthly goal. How to remove a tongue. Part 2. Draft. Cut the tongue with a big pair of scissors. It's so thick and warm. But how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have we a have bunch more? Oh, we have? Oh, well, you label it with a name tag. Okay. I'm sure we read this, like, really early in the game. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wait, she doesn't want to go that way because there's the dead person. Alright, fair enough. You know, we could save the world, but you are being a fucking bitch. <laughs> I know, I know that's sad on that, but you just give, like, you forced this guy to look a ghost in the eyes. You know, she kind of did. Alright, um... Can we go this way? Oh, we can go this direction. Oh. It's not. <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, the main character is blocked off from basically everything, and this guy can't go anywhere because this woman's like, no, it's spooky. And so I just gotta go along the, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow, I don't know exactly where we're supposed to go, so I'm just gonna try and follow the main characters. Or so is the main character, y you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna try and see if I can, like, go up here too. And that makes sense to me, though, I probably can't. Oh, the closet. Oh. It's weird, so the door is locked in, all, in like, other dimensions. Yeah. Does that mean the key must exist multiple times? You know, that's a good question. What if you have the key on you and then you get teleported to another dimension? <laughs> I assume the key would still wor oh, work on the different dimensions door. I don't know. It's weird. Hey, do you have anything new to say? No, it still hurts. Yeah, I know. Dying sucks. You probably shouldn't do it. Alright, um, I guess we just Best take it from the top. Don't die. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, here it is. Go to where the floor collapsed. But then got better. Yeah. The rooster ten steps rat. I sure don't know what that means. Okay, but there's a place. It's a direction, so remember. It's a. Right. Wood and zinc. For whatever animal yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Better so... collapsing or better. I'm trying to remember that. Like I honestly. Is that don't where know. we put the board? Um. Up. Up. Okay, though the floor here had clearly collapsed previously, the gap seems to have mysteriously closed up on its own. It feels completely solid. Okay, so... Yeah, one step booster, ten step red. But there's not many directions to go, so... Is yeah. booster left or right, let's guess. Okay, um... I'm gonna guess one to this direction, and like... Ah, here we are. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. And I don't really mind doing it like this, because when I first played, I did solve these puzzles a little more legit. But admittedly, having, you know, having already played it, I know that, yeah, it's just easier to click around. Because as you said, there's not many directions to go, so... Yes, eventually find it, because... Okay, it took us, like, two seconds. Right, exactly. From beneath the floorboard, you manage to fist out, fish out to a... fist out. <laughs> God damn it. A crank-like key that resembles the winder from an old-fashioned pack pocket oh. watch. The heck is this? Doesn't it look like it would fit any... 
Oh, it doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. I know how it goes. Yeah, I think I do too. I know how it goes, alright. Man, I can't even English. I'm calling things like packet watches. <laughs> packet watches. <laughs> it's it's a new Pokemon. Oh my god. Packet watch Pokemon. I I I'd try and find a packet, packet watch. I'm sure it's a pretty rare. All right, here we are. Put it in the lever. It did indeed slip into the vice without any trouble, but nothing happened. Oh come on. Space for it to go down one more notch. Yes. You die. Nah, I, maybe. Let's see. I think that's what I'm supposed it's to so do. It's so weird. Like, this is the kind of thing that would kill you in other games. <laughs> yeah. I well, mean, I, I always mm -hmm. say, like, when any, when any game ever asks me, should, do you want to force it? I think of um, Octavius Underground Shadow, whatever yeah. it was called. I never would shut up. Well, that's because that's more of an adventure game. Honestly, like, though it has adventure game elements, Corpse Party is more on the nose. It's pretty much a straight-up horror game, and the puzzles are kind of just there to get you between the cutscenes, you know. It's not bad gameplay, but it's not overly complex either. Wow. wow. That color change. I know! <laughs> Suddenly, freaking grayscale, yo. Wow, get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. Uh, yeah, it's it really be easy amazing. to fit. I know. <laughs> showers, what are these? I know, we didn't have showers in ours. Whoa. Oh. That hurts. Make it stop. Oh, oh my god, my head. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Shinozaki! Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Uh-huh. Another nosebleed. It's, if it's just her nose, it's fine. But if a blood vessel burst in her brain or something... Here, Shinozaki, stuff some tissues up your nose to stop the bleeding. Thanks, I have some of my own, but since you got yours out already... Yeah, go ahead. If you have these tissues, why did you sniff on my shirt? <laughs> I know, seriously, Shinozaki, what's wrong with you? I, you apparently carry tissues everywhere, and I carry tissues everywhere for some... You, know, you would think Yoshiki, of all people, would carry tissues everywhere. Why? I, I don't know. He's, he's like a cool dude. Like He's sort a cool of, gentleman. He's, I guess he's a gentleman. I don't know. Like... <laughs> Uh, he's been shown to be a little bit of a delinquent, but apparently he carries- I'm gonna assume he carries tissues everywhere for his friend Shinusaki here, cause, you know. I don't know. Apparently nosebleeds happen. The ghosts get to her? No. She's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably reached her limit. She needs to rest. In the infirmary. <laughs> Clearly. Oh no, see that? It's blood from Ayumi's nose. Good statement, Bob. <laughs> I know, what a useful statement. Your own reflection stares back at you. Strangely, you have more wrinkles than you heard. <laughs> Clearly what I'm looking for right now, it's kind You're of- You're such a detective. I know. No matter how you hard you turn the handle, the water is- No water is coming out of the faucet. Yeah, that one's a little bit broken. Yeah, I know. That one, it's a little obvious that water won't come out of the faucet. But it is crammed full of discarded underwear, all twisted up like wrung out dish rags. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a little unexpected from Corpse Party. You go from, like, really gross stuff to just, like, tons of underwear. Maybe they close up my underwear. It's probably, I assume, there's, like... A thing. Alright. 
this upcoming section is probably one of the... Oh, hard... it's Wayne. Yeah. So it's... you won't die? Like, technically, if he had come this far, he wouldn't have died. Die, he died. Yeah. No running by the pool. You want to do this to next time? Oh. Uh, okay. Once I'm... he's done talking. Oh, sure. A pool, huh? Can't even see the other side of it with all that rain. Come on, it's Wayne. It's not mist. <laughs> Wayne does not stop your eyesight. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a weird statement. I'm going to assume there's supposed to be mist. In fact, I think you can kind of see mist, but yeah, you're right. Rain is, isn't the same. Alright, here goes. Shirozaki, this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. Great plan. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. The one with the ghost in it and the blood, yes. <laughs> what uh, is going to happen if a ghost shows up again, hmm? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you. And you can come to my rescue. Call you how? <laughs> uh, I assume he just means, like, shout her name. Okay, that is one thing that Wayne does not have a lot of carrying, though. Yeah, sound. I get you. Alright, just don't do anything stupid. Like, leaving me alone. Oh, wait, <laughs> never mind. Uh, I mean, it's not that I, I don't understand his point. Heck, I probably understand his point better than the other guys because it is raining heavily out here and she's then already they should like... both wait till the rain ends. yeah but i i agree with you like i don't think he should go out here alone i think it'd make sense if they both rested since she's having uh issues thank you you say something thank you it's such a scary word <laughs> i know I've got to try to lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. Oh. But I was just thinking, one yeah. of you guys could like sit down, take that underwear bucket, empty <laughs> it, fill it with water, and have some drink. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I mean I even if they don't, dehydrated. even if they don't want to do that, I mean, they could just both kind know. of just, yeah, they could get both kind of just open the door and cup their hands and collect some rain. Yeah, but I mean, the bucket would be useful, like even for later. Yeah, I get what you're Seeing saying. Seeing how many people die here by dehydration. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally agree with you in that way. I'm not sure how gross the bucket is. They didn't actually describe this one as being that gross with the cl with the underwear, though. Uh, it's like, that's weird, but it's not like having a bucket of blood. So, yeah, it's, it's not, probably it's the not, worst idea. It's not mercury. It's not going to make you so up. Right, exactly. Anyway, thank you for yeah. watching. And, uh... <laughs> Hopefully I don't screw this part up next time. This, uh, we'll see. Bye.